welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise now i want to show you guys that i have actually managed to build my silver main back really really well um the only thing i do want to improve on is this crit rate literally that that's pretty much what i really really want to focus on next just figure out how to increase the crit rate probably change this over here to find some sets with some crit rate let's see hp crit damage oh that's nice but no crit rates literally none of his gear gives him additional crit rate which is kind of annoying but besides that in general okay i should I, sh I should improve this one actually let's see this one only has attack piece and the hp that's the only two things i care for besides that not really that great so i would love to get some crit from here but as you can see no crit sets no crit stats sorry so in general decent build of course would like to increase the crit rate i have my first dupe um, my last video when I was going over the best characters and the characters you should build, I actually went ahead and summoned for the first copy of him. It did kind of get kind of unlucky, but at the end of the day, we still got the first dupe. So I'll gladly take that. But my build for him so far is decent. Really, really good. Uh, especially for a character that I just recently got as well. Compared to my um, Troy as well. My Troy is a character I had since day one. Literally when I created this account. My first few summons on the on his banner. Two singles in fact. And I got him. So um, it's a little bit disappointing that I haven't actually built him up properly. But that's the issue with the artifact farming in this game. Okay so future AC Gamer had to cut in here. So I've seen a lot of people diss um a zero beck and saying beck is a terrible unit without dupe which makes no sense his damage at a zero is actually very very good for my testing before i got him one dupe in his damage was insanely insanely good and people keep misunderstanding why people say beck is an annoying character to go for or you shouldn't go for beck it is not because his damage sucks it is because he has to lose hp when you shouldn't really be losing hp to do good amount of damage and that is the main issue with beck even at a5 you will still have to lose a bunch of hp to still deal with a huge amount of damage so at the end of the day people saying that a0 back is garbage don't really understand why people say that at the end of the day a0 back a5 is back the only real difference is the amount of damage they do at the end of the day you still need to lose a bunch of hp so therefore the issue still stands he has to lose a bunch of hp to do an insane amount of damage and that is what people don't like about this character not the fact that he can't do good amount of damage but my test at a0 he was able to bring back that or bring down the bar of the h of the boss to 40 and from the testing you will see right now even with my first dupe inside him it was only able to bring it down to 37 so honestly in this game i don't think dupes are i think overall dupes are essentially going to make your characters more broken but it's not like uh, something you need to go for so yeah just a quick disclaimer before we carry on with the video it is extremely hard to get the good artifact sets that you want um, but for him, all he really wants is attack, damage, increase, and uh, defense penetration. Those are the really f most important stats for him. So I'd love to improve his um, overall build, but right now, not much I can do. And the reason why his power level isn't that high is because the gears are terrible. So I'm not really investing into it. I've left it all at plus 10, and I'm not going to level it up, especially when I know I'm going to tr um, change them in the future. So uh, it is what it is. Um, but for Beck, I have his exclusive weapon. Um, his power level is 50k i want to do a couple of damage tests in today's video um so last time i did my damage test it was the exact same artifact uh probably improved a little bit more in like um in, in terms of artifact leveling but in terms of like any other stuff it was pretty much the same and i was able to bring down a particular boss all the way to 40 bars we are going to be doing a damage test with a bunch of other dps characters that i've built or just damage dealers in general now the two only main dps characters in this game is troy and beck those are the only two main dps characters in the game now to be honest ceo is also a dps character but in general characters that focuses on break are not really classed as dps those characters without a break ability are usually the ones classed as main dps because the damage they can deal is usually really the greatest so troy and beck in the game is probably the two highest deep dealing damage characters in the game and then ceos as well since you can spam her skills makes her really really good in terms of dps as well um but when it comes to the other break characters from my testing you will also notice that in general the damage isn't the like 
that insane against the boss that we are going to be testing with so first of all before we do the testing don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on solo leveling all right if you guys enjoyed this video then hey go ahead and click the like button show your support to the channel and if you guys um you know don't want to miss out on future content make sure you are subscribed and make sure that post notification is on help your boy by supporting the channel and let's get right into it so first of all i'm going to show you my emma build which is solely focused on break so the enemy you're going against can't be broken so therefore she loses a bunch of damage as you can see as you can see no damage will be done extra but we do have this one over here same with seo the jewel this is the build my uh back over here and then troy so these are the four characters i'm going to be testing i could check the normal back as well but as you can see his build is even worse so um <laughs> i don't know i don't know okay so um in terms of stats as well actually there we go there you go as well there you go and there you go so um much more improvements will be needed anyways okay so how we're going to be testing the dps and just showing you guys how really strong beck is of course it's not about how strong he is uh, well it's all about how strong a character is but in terms of dps dps isn't really every any everything you will notice that my back does deal the most amount of damage against this boss um so last time i tested this it was only 40 i was only able to bring the boss's hp down to 40 but i actually did test today before making this video and it was actually able to bring it down to 37. now i do recommend guys not to chase dupes in this game it's not like an insane power increase uh, unless you get multiple dupes but i don't think it's worth chasing dupes again i've noticed that i saw getting my first dupe for him it wasn't like a huge huge like you know buff okay okay you're gonna do this so it does damage extra to bleeding characters there we go okay there we go let's see so right now it's about there we go there we go okay as you can see in terms of um, hp loss it is getting lower and lower but not that bad honestly of course it's because i'm not getting hits because when he has that thingy on is oh there we go okay we're gonna use this next bam oh come on don't run away so again oh come on this is actually worse so we kind of have a bunch of dps loss because that's only 39 so we're gonna retry this again so that's his damage he was able to do against this boss but we're gonna do this one more time because i think there's a bunch of damage loss from here um uh, because uh, well then again his hp loss wasn't insane so of course his damage is going to be lower because he does deal more damage the more hp loss happens so that's something worth noting as well we're gonna retry that again so actually yeah the, the damage that you saw right there is probably when you try not to lose too much hp so it's able to bring the boss down to 30 but we will try and get and um, bring the boss down to 40 but we'll try and get uh take a little bit, bit more damage right here so we'll just see how good that is so there we go so we're gonna stand there and just take a bit more damage there we go perfect there we go so now we've lost well there we go lost 70 percent of hp so our damage boost now is a lot more better so we're gonna do this next this prick where are you run into <laughs> sorry about that so we just lost a bunch of dps again damn i hate i hate challenging this boss man there we go yeah yeah get lost okay and now we get to use this bam 14 now there you go so and it's not even being one minute actually i can do better now perfect of course so in one minute it was 37 but honestly that could have gone down all the way to um 36 so i'm just gonna assume that's 36 so that's that's the damage testing from him uh able to bring down the boss's hp to 36 but then again you do have to lose a bunch of damage especially with the gear set i have on where he needs to be at below 70 percent where he gets that 30 percent boost in damage 
so um, that's worth noting as well okay so let's go ahead and switch into the other dps characters in the game now like i said most of the characters are not main dps type characters i mean they do insane amount of damage but from how the game works if they don't if they have a break ability they shouldn't really be the main dps in the game if they do have a break they do good amount of damage but breaking is also their main functionality so next up we're gonna probably take troy in now troy is the character that i can't use the most like i can't his attack rotations are well easy but like dodging and stuff is a range character it makes him really hard to use for me i prefer characters that can go up in front of the enemies compared to range units so and anyways let's go ahead and see so i might have to retry this multiple times which is going to be unfortunate but it is what it is okay we're gonna run away from that there we go but did we just lose we lost a bunch of hp and um, damage from here so we're gonna retry that actually because i think we missed the cluster damage so maybe i'll use the cluster damage first since i'll be up close first okay so let's try this again properly so the gear i have on is just probably should change it actually a bit i should probably give him the executioner gear bro why did you run away i have the very very decent one or very dense one which basically reduces cooldown and only gives him an 80 percent boost in damage um i could have gone the 20 percent roots which is giving him the executioner accessories but um i think i prefer the uh there we go there we go perfect okay there we go hopefully we don't get damage okay perfect so 55 right now come on we want to spam this next spam this next okay i want to go in front of him so that if he wants to run he would have to run right in front of me there we go perfect there we go and of course we take damage okay we're going to use the alt next hopefully we don't have to try this again because that's going to suck i think we just lost a bunch of damage but that's 49 right now whoa that came out of nowhere and he died so that was 48 probably should have been would have been able to get it down to 45 so we're going to try this again um last time i tested this i believe it was 45 that he was able to bring it down to so yeah you saw that beck was able to deal more damage but just based on the way you beck works it would make sense for him to deal more damage than troy but one thing you need to note is that troy's way of dealing damage is completely different troy's damage dealings is basically you use a skill uh, his skill and you quickly switch out of him you use a skill you don't have to stay on him on field for too long compared to like beck beck wants to stay on the field the most so um that's why he's able to do the most amount of damage as well and beck's i mean choice damage is all like burst front loaded damage okay and of course he ran away there we go and let me start again perfect okay so of course there's going to be margin there's going to be an error somewhere for my way of playing there we go okay i'm gonna stop right there it's it's 45 i'm not gonna try this again it's really annoying to use him um but with troy like i mentioned you use a skill you quickly you switch out of him you wait until you get his ult or you well you keep switching into him when he has a skill available you use a skill and you switch out whereas with beck you want to just stay there and use your normal attacks for a long ass time uh use your skills so yeah beck's damage will be a lot better in that in that sense front loaded is that what they call it um let's go ahead and use seal which seal actually does good well the same amount of damage as troy from last time i tested it it was uh she also did 45 she was able to bring the bosses down to 45 but then again it makes sense since she can spam her skills the main issue with that though is that you're going to use a lot of mp like a lot of mp is going to be used from this but also you will notice that the amount of damage she was able to deal plus like the utility she has utility she has is actually really good which makes her honestly one of the best characters in the game so i'm just gonna ignore i'm just not gonna dodge out the way because there's no real reason to so um because she has a shield which will come in handy she will not die so that's all i care about all i care about is seeing the most amount of damage i can do of course there we go 
so we can spam the skills and 40 48 seconds so well how many seconds is gone there we go so she's gonna run out of there we go so each time she has a shield she gets like a damage buff there we go there we go oh actually might be even better than Troy's and then she runs out of MP and now we are stuck the way she is okay so as you can see so that's 45 in one minute 45 Troy was able to do 45 as well um, but like I said even though they weren't doing as much damage as Beck it does not mean they are terrible DPS in fact it probably means they're better uh, it means they're better because Beck had to go to a significant lower HP and um, yeah it's just safer to use those two characters that I've tested so far next we're going to use Emma but like I mentioned based on the gear I have on her um, she won't be doing the most amount of damage simply because she wants enemies that are in the break state um, so let's go even though I've built her the most of my other characters she won't be able to do the most amount of damage against um there's a, there is a specific rotation you want to use which is actually one of the set i have on her isn't the best so my accessory set is the executioner it should be the very dent one honestly because he allows her to use the skill much more so you want to stack the heat absorption and there we go 15 and then we use this perfect and then we use this next the rotation is really simple like this Oh my days, why the flip did you have to run, bro? There you go. Kind of missed that. So again, that's apologies. Okay. Now we stacked up 15 times. Perfect. Oh, for flip's sake, bro. That's heat absorption now. Stack heat absorption. Perfect. Okay, so... Now we heat emission. Okay, I think we're in heat emission now. I might be wrong. So the damage is usually better when you're in heat emission. So I think I was actually in absorption then. Okay. We're in heat absorption now actually. Okay, so maybe that was... There we go. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was actually worse. 50? Uh, that was worse. That was actually not that great. But then again, my rotations could have been bad. Um, or just simply because the boss ran away. Could have affected the damage testing. So, this is going to be our last one, actually. Last testing. Of course, we take damage. Of course. It's the one way he rams at us. That's kind of unfortunate. Anyways, let's try this again. Let's go. Hopefully, it's not the one when he's charging at us, because then it is the one. So this is heat absorption, ten stacks, fifteen heat emission. Perfect. Heat absorption. Oh wait a minute. So I think the rotation was meant to be. There we go. Heat absorption now. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're going to try this again. This should be heat emission because it says whenever you use cleave. Oh, am I wrong? Okay, so let's see. The damage from here wouldn't be that great, would it? Oh, there we go. 47. Okay. So 47. Um, so yeah, she was able to bring the boss down to 47. So in general, as you can see, my Beck was the one dealing the most amount of damage. But his build and the way he works is a bit iffy. Simply because um, you have to make sure you don't take too much damage. 70% is all you really want. And then you want to make sure you, well, you're still going to continuously lose HP, but at the same time, it's, it's all right, I guess. Anyways, that's all I wanted to showcase in today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been your boy, AC Gamer, and I'm out.